Hold on, I just realized that this has a creepypasta tag. Eyeless Jack is a creepypasta? Color me interested. Hello, my name is Mitch. I'm here to tell you about an experience I had a few months ago. I have no I idea if it was paranormal or whatever stupid words people used to describe supernatural phenomena. Oh. But after this experience, I started to believe in it. Hello everyone, this is Rin from Super Cat Punch and welcome to Eyeless Jack. Well, those are my last things. I'm glad Which you didn't I had no idea was a creepypasta. Your family, Mitch. Of course I'd be here for you, man. I think this is his brother. Let's just move those boxes inside already. It's getting cold. So apparently, I, I think the main character lost his house or something, and then his brother was kind enough to let him move in. And apparently everything seems normal at first, but then takes a spooky turn. I cannot leave this little section here. Well, it is very nice of you to bring me inside, but I gotta look around because... Exploration? Can I go up here? No. Like, why are you going around the back of my house, man? A really nice bit of scenery here. And you know, I just gotta say that I love this style. Cause you gotta hear it. I really do love this style though. And before I get too caught up in the game, I will go over today's comment pottery. Which is like the lottery, but with paws. Check the description for more details. Where am I taking this? Uh... Did he say the rest of the boxes, or are there already some boxes in here? I don't want to bring it to the bathroom or something. I, I guess I'll just... Oh, okay. I didn't get it right. Do not disturb. I'm saving the world. <laughs> uh, I know. I'll... Something, something, classic music. Okay. That's cute. The character on the right of this this picture, the white picture, looks like uh, the character from Undertale. It's the shirt, I think. Interesting. But yes, on Crawl, that interesting cave crawling game, Jake said, but which is worse, caves or underwater? And... <laughs> Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Did it show his name, or is he just brother? Hello, brother. Okay, bye, brother. <laughs> that is very nice. I don't okay, so I have my camera. I have a pillow. Like anything else here? But you know, I initially said definitely underwater. I'm also curious to hear what you guys have to say about this choice. <laughs> I am, as most of you are probably aware, absolutely terrified of dark water. I got the thalassophobia real bad. <laughs> but I'm also, to a much smaller degree, afraid of tight spaces. In, in places like all-white room, small room doctor's offices, I feel a little uncomfortable. Like when the room is super tiny, and I just have to open the door and it's no big deal. Edwin. Edwin is his name. Okay. You started smoking, huh? You want one? No oh, thanks. Sip my tea. Smoke. Tea is much better Why than you cigarettes. So <laughs> you had quite a long ride to get here. That's not a bad idea. I'm pretty tired. All right. Good night then. Good night, brother. Night. I can't say I've ever tried cigarettes, and I I don't want to. I had a father growing up that smoked a lot. <laughs> Luckily not inside, so that's a good thing. And and drank a lot. Luckily he stopped both. I think he still vapes, but but it's still not good for your health, by the way, but it's it's significantly better from what we know, at least, since that's relatively new, than smoking, you know, regular cigarettes. But yeah, in that situation, I tiny crawl space in a cave, like crawl, I I would probably expire. <laughs> All right, what's gonna come and get me? Oh, nothing. Okay. So we had a relatively normal night then. 
I'm just waiting for the pictures on the wall to change. I'm trying to remember them all. <laughs> the one that sticks out to me the most, of course, is the Do Not Disturb, I'm Saving the World. That's just, that's so cute. So this window is open a little bit. I don't know if we opened that last night or not. I don't know if I'd want to open a window that has no screen. I mean, I guess it depends on where you live, but most places have, like, mosquitoes and bugs, right? Hey, tea drinking gang! Good morning. Hey, man. Did you sleep well? Yeah, not bad at all. I only heard some strange rustling outside, but I guess it was just a raccoon or something. I yeah, guess that's I what we were hearing, okay. That's most likely it. Would you mind raking the leaves outside the house? I will make breakfast in the meantime. Okay. Sure thing. The rake is somewhere around the entrance. Will do, thank you. So... Trying to circle back to my answer here, I, I think... My answer would be that it depends. <laughs> leaves. Whoa. Wow. I am a fish in the rake and leaves. Just scoop. Done. What am I, like, flinging them over the fence? <laughs> but yeah, is, is the water dark? Is it deep? Is it a lake? Is it the ocean? How tight is the cave? If it's, like, a big open cave, I would be fine, because, you know, I've gone on, like, tours of, like, caverns and, and stuff. And I was okay with that, it was completely fine. Not when they accidentally shut the lights off on me, that was not fine, but, you know. I'm never okay with water that I cannot see into, but depending on the circumstances, I, I might be willing to jump in for a minute if it's... Oh, hey. Oh, okay. So this is right outside my window. There's like a, a weird black slit or something. But I, I might be willing to do that, I guess, if it if it was to avoid a circumstance like fall. Cause ooh, that would be horrible. That would be real bad. You know, I think I told this story before at some point, but oh, that was me putting the ray back. I'm like, what the? What was that? <laughs> but I, I I once had to. Just in time. Let's I cooked some eggs. Eggs! Eat the breakfast. I once had to jump in just offshore in a lake to to help someone that was struggling to swim. Oh, it's 12.56 a.m. Oh, I'm awake. Okay. None of the posters have changed yet. Can I just get out? Okay. So something's gonna come up at the window, I assume. I heard a noise. Did something already get in my room? Like under the bed or something? No? Okay. Interesting, okay. So I, I, I jumped in after this person and I swam up behind them because you should never try and help someone struggling to swim in front of them because they can drown you in a panic. And that's not good for anybody. What's going oh, on? Yeah. What the hell happened to you? Take a look in the mirror. What are you talking about? What happened? Where's the mirror? I assume in the bathroom. Oh. Oh no. How did you not feel that? An hour later. It seems like you've been sleepwalking, Mitch. I have no other explanation for that. How would you come up with... That's strange. ...sleepwalking from a gash on their face? Indeed. But there is something more disturbing than that gash. You somehow lost your kidney last night. I'm what sorry, what? Unfortunately, we don't know how that happened. I'm sorry, Mitch. What? Wait, hold, uh, that escalated real quick. Ho what? 
And you're gonna chalk that up to sleepwalking? Oh, you must be sleepwalking. You're in on it, aren't you? I, mm -hmm, I'm on to you. You don't don't think I don't know. I'm just gonna turn off the light on my way out. Mm -hmm. Before you go, could you please sign this paper? Could you please sign this paper that says I'm not liable for anything I did to you last night, like taking your kidney? Take care, bitch. Take care, Mitch. Thank All you. I can think of is like the Pokemon Center nurses from Pokemon. We hope to see you again. <laughs> uh. I must I tell my brother the, the mysterious happenings. He thinks I'm sleepwalking. That's bullshit. How could this be the case? I don't know. It's all fucked up. Anyway. Take this key. It belongs to your room. You didn't give me the key before? I mean, thank you, but... If there's anything bothering you, you can always tell me about it. Well, thank you. I know. That's like Thanks. the nicest brother. I hope it's not him. <laughs> like, I hope he's not the ultimate evil, but... You know. I'm sure it's fine. What was I saying before? Oh yeah, the lake story, but... I, I helped him back to shore. And as soon as I knew they were okay, like the second I, I knew they were okay, my adrenaline passed, and I fainted. <laughs> Just right then and there. I was so scared, and I did not even realize it. I mean, a part of it obviously was being scared for them, but it hit me after. I was in the water. It was dark. I didn't know what was in there. My feet were cold. I didn't, I didn't know something was going to touch my feet. You know, it, ugh. Just all the unknowns, it hit me, like, all at once. It, ugh. I'm just glad they were okay, though. At least I didn't faint, like, the second I hit the water. <laughs> that would have been bad. Okay, it's 12.05 a.m. again. Am I gonna lose another kidney? Oh, hey. I need my camera fast. Camera. Camera. What happens if you don't get your camera? Oh! Oh hey! I am not controlling that, he ran on his own. But you shouldn't leave your brother, you should've... ...ran to your- oh. Okay, is he behind me? I... Nothing's behind me, why are we running? Why, why are we running? There's nothing there. <laughs> oh, is the music getting more frantic? This is an odd sequence. There's nothing behind me, I'm just running. Oh! There might be something behind me now. Oh, hey! There he is. I didn't expect the screen to be blue. Usually they go with like a red. Good morning, Mitch. Hi. I have some good and bad news. Are Did my legs know? gone? That you only had minor injuries. Oh, okay. My legs can't be gone if it's minor. However, the bad news is that your brother, Edwin, was from dead. No! I'm eh? terribly sorry for your loss. Wait. But wait, what? How did... How? Was he like hallucinating and it was his brother? Or something? I feel like we're gonna look at the camera and it's gonna be Edwin. And like we, we killed him somehow, right? Is that how this is gonna go? Is he not gonna look at the camera? Okay. Hi. So is this a... Schizophrenia type deal? Oh, is that just a hole in his chest? Okay, it might not be. I thought that was just a shirt design there for a second, but I do not believe that it is. Oh, this is just terrible. I'm sorry. What's that thing on the floor? Oop. Well, I tried to look at it. 
I'm, I'm trying to look at it without, like, stepping on him. I... I, I don't seem to be able to. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the stain. Oh, he doesn't care about his dead brother. It's the stain on the floor that he's worried about. Okay. That's fine. Oh yeah, I'm great. Yeah, I'm okay, Dad. What is that? Is that a kidney? <laughs> we didn't look at the camera? Eh? Yeah, so the original creepypasta was by Azelf. Okay. Interesting. I mean, there are- I have- I have questions. Maybe the original creepypasta explains some more things, but was this like a schizophrenia type thing? Did we kill our brother? And like, just brutally like, I don't know, axe out his chest or something? Or was there actually an eyeless Jack? Like, did our brother take our kidney? I- I don't know. Is this a supernatural entity type thing? Was the brother, I don't know, drugging us? That didn't make any sense. Because he didn't give us anything the first day. Right? But we only heard sounds the first night. The second day, I mean, he fed us eggs, I guess. And bread. I mean, the, the, dr the drug idea is probably not it, but this could either be like a schizophrenia type thing, or a supernatural thing. I'm not quite sure which one because I haven't read the original creepypasta. I'm, I'm leaning more towards it's probably just a supernatural thing. But, I mean, what happened? <laughs> what happened? It's not sleepwalking. Kidneys don't just get up and sleepwalk out of your body on their own, you know? I don't know. But either way, I hope I made you smile today. <laughs> and I'd love to hear what you think about this game. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye.